Okay, so in this video, we're going to be looking at what we call multi-step questions. And this is where you'll need to often take several steps of working out, and it requires knowledge of more than one angle fact. Now, a top tip for this is to just, on the diagram, mark any angles that you know or that you can work out, even if you're not sure how it will help you find the final answer. Because in an exam, that will help you gain some marks. And often, after you've found a couple of angles, you can see how to find the one that you're really looking for. So I'll show you what I mean in these examples. So in these four questions, you can see that they look a bit more complex than the ones that we've seen in the previous videos. Now, looking at this first one, before you start, you need to think, right, what do I know? What is the diagram telling me? And as we can see, we, it's telling us that this is an isosceles triangle because these two sides are the same. And we know that means the two base angles are the same. Now, the, now the base angles in the isosceles triangle are here and here. So these two angles are the same. Now, we're not sure what X is, so we can't work these two out by using the knowledge of a triangle, but we, we can work out this one here because it's on a straight line with 110. And we know that angles on a straight line add up to 180. So to work out this angle here, we can do 180 minus 110. And that is our first step of working. And you get 70 degrees. So that here is 70 and that must also mean that that's 70, because don't forget, base angles in an isosceles are equal. Now that we've got these two, we can see, oh, okay, we've got two out of three angles in a triangle. That means that we can work out the missing angle by doing 180 minus 70 minus 70. 180, because that's how many angles are in a triangle, and you end up with 40. So our final answer is the x is equal to 40 degrees. Okay, next question. Now again, we can see we've got a quadrilateral here, a four-sided shape, and we know that the total degrees for that is 360. But we, can, we also need to work out x. So we can work this out. That isn't what x is, but then we can do something else afterwards. But step one is doing 360 minus the other three angles in the quadrilateral. And that will tell us this corner here. and you get 75 degrees. So that means that this angle here is 75. And so in order to work out X, we can see it's on a straight line. So we have to do 180 minus 75, and that will give us X. And you get 105 degrees. So X is equal to 105. Okay, next question. We can see that once again, We've got a four-sided shape, so that might come in useful. We're looking for x here. We can work out x because it's on a straight line with this angle. So we need to work out this angle in order to get x. But to do that, we need to know what the other angles are in this quadrilateral. So we've got to think, right, how can I work this out? It's on a straight line with 97. So I can do 180 minus 97. And when we do that, we get 83. So this angle here is 83 degrees. Again, we need this angle here in order to work out the final angle. So we have to think, right, we know that all of that is 305, and we know that angles around a point are 360. So to work out this angle, we're going to have to do 360 minus 305, which gives us 55 degrees. Now we can work out this angle here because we know that angles in a four-sided shape add up to 360. So I'm going to subtract the other angles in the four-sided shape to work out the one that's missing. And you get 80 degrees. So that means that this angle there is 80. And so final step to work out X, we're gonna to have to do 180 degrees because it's on a straight line minus 80 and you get 100 so that means that x is 100 degrees so that in an exam will be worth quite a few marks because as you can see there's quite a lot of steps to get your final answer okay final question final question here now what we've got is what two triangles and these three lines tell us that these lines on this triangle on the right hand side are equal which means this is an equilateral triangle, which means that these three angles are all the same. So we know that if 
all of them add up to 180, all three are the same, we can divide by three. That means each of these is 60 degrees. Now, in terms of how that's going to help us find X, if you picture this big triangle here around the outside, we know that we've got one angle of 60. We've got this angle here, which is going to be 15 add 60. So 15 add 60 is 75. So this angle here is 75 degrees. And so to work out X, we can do 180 minus 60 minus 75 and whatever's left over will be what x is so 180 minus 60 minus 75 gives us 45 degrees so x is 45 and that is your final answer so make sure that you've got those examples written down and then move on to these two questions to do on your own pause the video and come back when you've got an answer and see if you're correct Okay, so this first triangle here, we can see it's an isosceles triangle. These two sides are the same, which means that this angle and this angle are equal. So this is also X. Now, to work out what these angles are, we're going to need to know what this other angle is in the triangle. And to do that, we can see that we're going to use this 308. We know that angles around a point add up to 360. So to work out what's missing, we have to do 360 minus... 308 and you get 52 degrees so this angle here is 52 to work out these two angles we're going to have to do 180 because it's angles in a triangle minus 52 and we get 128 now we know that 128 is what both of these add up to but we just want to know what one of them is so we're going to have to do 128 divided by 2 and that will give us x. So 128 divided by 2 gives you 64 degrees. So our final answer for x is 64 degrees. And last question. So we've got a triangle here. Um, and we know that this here is 90 degrees. And we're looking for x up here. Now probably to work out x, we're going to need to know what this angle is. And then we can do angles on a straight line. And to work out this angle, we're going to need to know what this angle is, and then we can do angles in a triangle. Now, to work out this angle down here, we can see it's on a straight line with 134. So I can do 180, because it's angles on a straight line, minus 134, and you get 46. So this angle here is 46 degrees. So to work out this angle, again, angles in a triangle this time are 180, minus 90, minus 46. So 180 minus 90 minus 46 gives you 44 degrees. So that angle there is 44. And then final step, angles on a straight line again, 180 minus 44 is going to tell us what X is. So 180 minus 44 gives us 136. So X is 136. So well done if you got those right. Okay, once you've got these two written down and corrected, you can move on to the GCSE style questions that brings everything that you've learned in these three videos together and make sure that you've answered all the exit cards your teacher sent to you.